You know, we love to unwind here on PTL. So how about a responsible dose of holiday cheer to help make the season even brighter? Yeah, our merry mixolog mixologist Dave Kiawa is back with some holiday cocktail recipes. We're always glad to see you. <laughs> hey, it's so great to be here. You know, we're kind of in that little dip. We just got through Thanksgiving. Right. And we're gearing up for Christmas and all those festive holidays. And I have two really wonderful drink recipes that really say this is the spirit of Christmas. Merry, merry, merry. Yes. And the All first right. one is called the gingerbread eggnog. So it sounds we, delicious. Yeah, it really is. So we're going to start out by just rimming our glass. I took some of these uh, ginger snap cookies and just pulverized them. You just put a little water around the rim and rim the glass with that. Then we're going to add two ounces of Captain Morgan spiced rum. Okay. Gives it a nice spicy flavor. Love hanging out with the captain. Absolutely. Okay. And we're going to add four ounces of old New England eggnog and then just a little bit, one ounce of gingerbread syrup. So we're going to go ahead and add those to our glasses. Lovely. So this is my dumb question. Is there alcohol in the old New England eggnog? There is. Okay, what, there is. what is that? Um, so it's just light. So when we okay. look at old New England eggnog, it's 15%. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty low. But is it like, what is it, is it based out of? Is it like a vodka or is it something like that? It, it is, it is a rummy type of cocktail okay. as well. Okay. So we're really rumming this up a little bit. That's so. okay. I yeah. love the presentation. It's almost the tropical. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and add a little whipped cream to this. <laughs> because why, why not, right? Let's make it extra fancy. And just add a dash of cinnamon to the top. And more of those cookie crumbles. Gosh, this looks lovely. This is too pretty to drink. See that? Oh, but well, that's why I gave you. I'm still going to drink it. <laughs> that's why I gave you the straw so you don't have to mess it up. There you go. This feels like the Heather? kind of drink, though, you shouldn't serve with kids around because David. They, oh, thank they you, know. thank you. Well, unfortunately, that's, yeah, that's yeah. one thing you have be to be concerned careful. with. Yeah. Exactly. What will the kids think? <laughs> what does Heather and David think? Oh, I think it's delicious. It's like dessert in a glass. Mm. Set yourself down by the fire, oh. have a little gingerbread oh. eggnog. Just perfect, isn't it? I love it. Oh, that's so good. Okay, yeah. what are we making, making next? Yeah. So Try next, and top this, Dave. So <laughs> next we have a Yuletide Mule. So everybody knows a classic Moscow Mule. This one starts out with one and a half ounces of Grey Goose Vodka. Okay. So this is a vodka made in France. Mm -hmm. Then we add one half ounce of cranberry juice and top it off with just a little bit of ginger beer. So really quite easy to make. And Heather, when we were off air, you were talking about you need some batch cocktail ideas yeah, for the like holidays. A, a big batch cocktail, like something that pe multiple people could just pour out of. Yeah, what would be real nice about something like this is you could take and mix it ahead of time, say in a punch bowl, mm -hmm. add the garnishes, which we're going to do here in a second. We're going to add cranberries, fresh cranberries, and also then some lime wedges. Going to add the lime wedges and garnish it with a rosemary sprig. You can use your hands. We're okay. cool. Yeah. You just all right. go I was for it. Say, I just yeah. washed them right before the that's segment. That's okay. okay. <laughs> We're all good. Thank you. Oh there my you gosh, go. look how pretty that looks yeah, too. It really is pretty. And now think of that in a Thank big you. punch bowl. You can kind of de-chain yourself from the bar, let people serve themselves. It it's really perfect. is. Right. It's beautiful and delicious. So. This basically is a Moscow Mule. The cranberry just gives it a little flair to it. While we sip this, I want to talk about some of the gifts because, I mean, this is a candy cane full of Fireball. And I think that so I, I know a lot of people who enjoy I've never this. seen this, Dave. So these are perfect stocking <laughs> stuffers. You need a pretty big stocking, of course, to mm. stuff them with Fireball candy cane. Then we also have the 99 candy cane. And that gives you everything from apple oh. to peppermint <laughs> to watermelon, different schnapps in 99 proof. So I, a little bit of variety. Fun and flexibility. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's not all. You have more gifts that you bought. Yeah. And one of the most popular things this time of year are gift sets. Mm -hmm. Now, what's really nice about gift sets is they come in at the exact same price. So let's take this one for the example. So here we have Maker's Mark Bourbon. So if you went and bought Maker's Mark Bourbon off the shelf, you'd pay the exact same for the gift set, but you get free items. In this case, you get two uh, mugs, two whiskey mugs. Well, and I like it. this too, because on the back, there's actually a recipe for a chai hot toddy. Yes. So you have the recipe right there. You have the booze, everything you need. It's perfect. Great. It's These perfect. are great. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm glad you're enjoying this. I love it. <laughs> so the only thing we, other thing we want to talk about is down here on the end. Right. And that is, unlike that ugly Christmas sweater that's either the wrong color or the wrong size, 
Fine Wine and Good Spirits gift cards. You can load them with any denomination of the perfect gift. And that's great because people need wine to serve over the holidays too and champagne for New Year's Eve. Gift that's bags great. for the wine. We got it all. Perfect. That's perfect. All right. Thanks, thanks Dave. Dave. We so appreciate fun. it. And we're excited to announce that Dave is going to be back with us for our holiday spectacular on location at the Byam Theater on Monday, December 12th. Yes, we're taking the show on the road again. We love it. And we're going to have more details to come. We're glad you're coming. We may need you there. Perfect. It's going to be a day. We're going to sparkle and shine. It'll be fun. <laughs> and for the drink recipes we tried out today and more holiday concoctions from Fine Wine and Good Spirits, just go to PittsburghTodayLive.com.